Hi, I'm Dr. Duke, Academic Director of Freedom Project Academy, and here I am again today with uh, Alex Newman from The Newman Report, uh, an FPE media joint, so to speak. Alex, uh, this is The Takeaway, and you've written a really wonderful article for this week's segment on how Harvard is actually segregating its uh, graduation ceremonies. So African-American students have been segregated by choice, by demand, let's face it, so that they are not bothered with pesky other, not white people and not all those other pesky minorities, any Hispanic kids, any, you know, we don't want that either. So this is really a dangerous trend. We're seeing it across all swaths of campus culture. Universities are now building dorms exclusively for black kids, minority students, uh, African-American students in particular. Uh, how do we get away with this? How is this even legal and possible in modern America? That's a very good question. It certainly is a trend that's exploding. Uh, as I mentioned in the in the article, that it's happened at uh, Columbia University, it's happened at Stanford, now at Harvard, and um, it really is so ridiculous when you stop to think about it. I mean, the, here these guys are going back to the days of segregation for whatever reason, right? The the guy who's organizing it said they wanted to celebrate black excellence and black uh, achievement, I think it was. And, uh, you know, why does it have to be black achievement? Why not just achievement? Why not just excellence? Uh, and I think what's going on here is you have people being used and manipulated as useful idiots by forces who want to divide and conquer the American people. So keep us all divided. Keep us all arguing amongst each other with petty differences. Oh, your skin color has more melanin than mine. And, oh, you have slightly more money than I do. So let's just argue amongst ourselves instead of pointing at the real problem, which is the establishment that's driving this country over a cliff. I think at the university level, it's worse than mere idiocy or ignorance. I think these university administrators are cowards. They're straight up cowards. These are people of the left who are so terrified of being perceived as not left wing enough that they're caving into anti American values. They're caving into discriminatory values. They're caving in, as you say, to a form of segregation. They are conceding to demands that are absolutely against everything that traditional liberalism used to stand for. It is really an Orwellian situation. What can be done specifically on campuses to fight back against this? Well, you know, I think students with some common sense need to start organizing. You know, when I was at the University of Florida, we did a lot of organizing. We had pro-life groups, liberty groups, constitution groups, conservative groups. And so we really need to be getting out there, getting our message across. Because a lot of these poor kids, you know, they show up at the college campus and all they hear is the tax-subsidized Planned Parenthood people and the lefties and the nut job teachers. And so they think, you know, this must be the real world. So we as conservatives, we as people who value individual liberty and moral principles and so on, we need to be getting out out there, getting our message across, getting students access to information and common sense. And on the second, on, on the other hand, we at the same time as citizens and as taxpayers, we need to be demanding an end to this kind of stuff. This can only exist in these petri dishes because of the generous tax subsidies provided by the American people. It's time that the American people say enough of this lunacy. You know, as a campus dweller, uh, I myself have thought a lot about this, and, and I, I think I know the answer to this because I know it for myself. What would happen if a group of Caucasian students justifiably showed up and started occupying campus buildings, demanding equality, demanding an end to segregation, <laughs> demanding a, a free assessment of resources, a balanced assessment of resources, demanding uh, that the war against white people, white privilege, all of these discriminatory ways that they are now trying to criminalize people who are not some minority group some approved minority group. I think I know how that go. But what, why not? Why can't group of ca groups of Caucasian students, white kids, show up and demand equality? And show, Because if they were to demand the kind of things that the African American, the minority stu students are demanding, they would immediately be branded racist, expelled and ushered off campus. Would that work or is that a pipe dream? Uh, you know, I, I think it would immediately result in a national outcry. You'd have CNN and the rest of the fake news media there blabbering about how evil this all was. And I think the reason is very simple. What the left, what the establishment is trying to do here is trying to demonize the entire culture that built the United States. And they're doing it by associating it with racialism and so on. Uh, you know, they want to demonize the Constitution. They want to demonize Judeo-Christian values. They want to demonize Western civilization because those things aren't compatible with the type of global totalitarianism that these people want to build. And so they figure that by making, you know, Western civilization and, you know, Judeo-Christian values, individual liberty, the U.S. Constitution, by associating that with all the wicked things they try to associate with it, uh, they'll be able to more easily steamroll over those things. So we absolutely have to resist. You're absolutely right that, you know, no one would ever be able to get away with that. And it shows the hypocrisy. And it also, I think, reveals a lot about the real agenda here.
And I think that's our takeaway for today, right? It's always about power, not equality. Uh, the, the, the faces may have changed. The backgrounds may have changed a little bit. But what we see here is a war for power on American campuses, progressive power, not for equality or even access. If you enjoyed this video and all of our videos, please consider a tax-deductible donation so we can keep the whole thing free for you. I'm Dr. Duke. Thanks for watching.